Hello. 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 Use that as your alarm tone. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs. It's still Corbin. I'm stupid. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks to our Patreon, follow us through to account, subscribe to the like button. Got a poem written by my granddaughter just this morning. Ashley sent it to me and she said, Evie's running around the house screaming this at the top of her lungs and every verse has a different rendition, but the rendition I was sent was this. It's raining, it's pouring, my nasals are a-snoring. He went to bed to close his legs and made the moon to morning. It sounds like a fun Friday night to me. It sounds like... Schmutt. <laughs> <laughs> Schmutt. No. That sounds like a, 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 a erotic novel. That's what that sounds That's like. That's what I expect for my she, granddaughter to write. Future. That's she's what I'm future. saying. She's not even three yet. Look out, world. <laughs> uh, a uh, woman's porn schmutt uh, novel book. Uh, she a grows prodigy. up. She says that at seven years old. When her mom says, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a, a woman's novel schmutt porn writer. <laughs> Today we're doing a movie review. <laughs> not porn. Uh, that'll be the next review. It's, yeah. It's more, well, if you go important. to Patreon, you can see the girls of Kama Sutra. Exactly, exactly. <sighs> and today we got the Tamil uh, film, uh, 2002, uh, Mani Ratnam film, uh, written and directed and produced uh, and composed by our nun bar. Uh, and it's called Kanathal Muthamital. Close enough for hand grenades, or, as far as I'm concerned. A peck on the cheek. Mm. Mm. I like that title better. Mm. Which is a weird thing to say about this movie. Mm. I agree. <laughs> it's a little. That's a. It's a little strange. Well, especially the way I'm implying it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it uh, starring uh, Madhavan. God, say these other names for me, please. Uh, Kirthana Parthipan, and if there's mispronunciations, as always, forgive. Simran Nandita Das. Mm -hmm. And those are your 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 main. Yeah, leads, but it's obviously a whole bunch of other people as well. Yeah, but those are your main ones. Uh, if you haven't watched it, we saw Netflix. Netflix. Yep, we saw it on Netflix here in the United States. Yep, uh, it'd be 100 cents for the view because it came out 20, 20 years, years ago. ago. <laughs> <laughs> so if you haven't watched it, it's your fault. Uh, but uh, if you don't like to be spoiled, go watch it. Come back, Rick. Your initial thoughts, please. So my obviously. As is always the case with dubbed films, you I, I I put aside the frustration I feel and always will feel about that. Yeah. And while I will accentuate the positives as much as I can in terms of I found there's no continuity errors that I could see. I thought the score was beautiful. I didn't see anything acting at all that bothered me. Mm. I for me, because the story was so frustrating and annoying and didn't make any sense to me, I didn't enjoy it. So for those of you who love the film and have enjoyed it, it'll be an interesting conversation, especially if you really like the story. Hopefully I can be enlightened to things that I might have missed, mm. but I found it to be more, story-wise, really, really frustrating and, and annoying that ultimately caused me to, to, to not like it, even though the technical aspects I thought were really good. Mm. No, I really enjoyed this movie. So this will be an interesting conversation. Yeah. It's actually probably one of my more favorite Monty Rotten older films. I I, I tend to PS One and and Del Say are just they feel like different eras. Yeah, for, for sure. It's like comparing like E. T. to what great comparison Spielberg. Did yeah, it, it's it's not a you gotta uh, see it based on where it's yeah time so space like, continuum. I still think Bombay, especially of that area, is probably still my favorite. Most, yeah, most likely. Me too. Just because it has such a great story, the romance in it is phenomenal. Yeah, and there there's stuff that I think this movie could have done uh, better as well. But uh, no, I I really enjoyed it. So this would be an interesting conversation we can have. Um, and I genuinely mean that. I'm I'm genuinely hoping that the things that I had problems mm. with will be because I missed something. Mm. And I can be shown what it is I missed and go, oh, okay, now that makes sense. But that, but if that doesn't happen, it's gonna, no, I'm it, gonna um, be frustrated. No, it, uh, 
because I saw Jimmy Cage's review. I don't know if you, you saw I didn't it. see his review, no. They, I tend to stay away from reviews until after we've watched it. No, I, that's why. And, and oftentimes when I watch it, it's on the heels of just coming to film. I watched to it film. after we, I saw the film, and I wanted to see what they thought Got about it, because there's not a bunch of people that have reviewed this film right. in terms of... That doesn't surprise me. And that I mean, doesn't surprise me he do, has uh, reviewed it. There's a lot of people that have seen this film. This is actually a very beloved Money Rotten I, film. I, I, um, and I've heard. Of bunch, but I'm... Um, Terms of like the foreign reactors, right? Or, uh, reviewers and stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. A So what did he role. say? They didn't. They I think they gave it like a six point eight out of ten. Okay, but they didn't resonate very much with them. Okay, um, so they'll probably be in more of your boat, probably. Uh, from what I from and it'll I be interesting hear. if they have the same. You'll know having heard them if it's a similar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but let's start. Let's with, talk uh, about what we like. The acting first. Yeah, uh, and I want to shout out. Even though he wasn't my favorite performance in it, I want to shout out Madhavan because we didn't have a great. Introduction to Monhaven. Correct. Uh, even though, uh, even though you guys will obviously heavily disagree with what we thought of about the movie, the one with him and Kamal, Kamal Hassan. Hassan. I can't. A Nave or I forget yeah. the name of it. It's basically plane, trains, and automobiles adaption, um, as it were. Um, we did not enjoy that. We did not enjoy him in it. Um, and I thought he, even though he wasn't my favorite performance in this, uh, I thought the women were superior. Uh, As is this. often the case. Yes, um, but he, and I agree. But he, I, a thousand percent, a thousand better. percent better. I was really pleased yeah. at what I saw based on what we had seen. Yeah, and that's why I think even in the review we said, please show us some other stuff. We don't want this yeah. to be our only sense of him. Yes, and I, I thought he did an yes. absolutely fine job with yes. what he, what he was. I given. agree, and even though I think he was more of the supporting character in the film. Uh, even though obviously he's probably the, I think he's yeah he's on the poster there. Yeah, uh, he, he he is the, the male lead, but it is the story more interesting... about the the women. I feel yeah, like, in the in the story. Yeah. Um, but I thought he did a he did a good job, uh, and it was so happy to say that uh, because I didn't want to be like, oh yeah, I didn't like him again. I <laughs> just so I first wanted to shout out him because I know he has a bunch of supporters, bunch of fans out there that, that absolutely love him. And I hear a lot of people call him a, a great thespian. Obviously, we've only seen two films. And uh, this was encouraging for me yes. enough that I would see more like to and, venture in. Yes. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to give him a shout out first because we had a uh, not good experience with him the first time. Yeah. So he did. A, I thought he did a very good job. I liked his chemistry. I thought he I believed him when he loved uh, about his daughter. I don't agree with how he told his daughter that she was adopted. Yeah, I, I, you're, <laughs> you're gonna, not our daughter. <laughs> you're gonna hear. I. You're gonna be. The only problem I had was story. Yeah, You'll yeah. find the objections I have are story. Yeah, we'll get, we'll get so to that. the the technical aspects uh, of it, including the acting, everything. Yeah. I really enjoyed. Uh, I want to get to the girls first, though, before mm -hmm. we get into the everything else. Yeah. Um, and I don't know which one's which, and I apologize. Which so which one is okay? The, the mother, the actual mother. The, the birth mother. Is that Nandita? Oh, the birth mother is Nandita. Nandita. Is, yes. is that the girl? Is that the little girl? Uh, no. Simra? The little girl was Amuta. The little girl was Amuta. Yes. Sorry, once again, I'm terrible with names. I just, yes. I just... Indra was his wife because that was his pen name, remember? Yes. And so so in, that was Madhavan's wife. Correct. Okay. And Amuda was the girl with her picture being so much older because this is 20 years ago. So yeah, yeah, she's yeah. now probably in her but 30s. She, I mean, Simra, just, she looks younger. I know, it's in interesting. Her, in her IMDb The photo. thumbnail has a picture that makes it almost look like a kid if you, yeah, you yeah, see yeah, it yeah. as a thumbnail. But no, that uh, is the difference. Simran was the wife. Uh, who adopted with Madhavan and I thought uh, she did Kirthana a, was Amuda. I of thought the girl. she did a really good job. Simran, uh, Simran, I agree, uh, and especially with her and Nadita Das at the end, their their performance together at the end, where they came together. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that performance of all of them. Uh, even the little girl, I thought, did a good job. It's it. I don't uh, like to critique children actors a lot. <laughs> I don't mind, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, but I I just because they're children and. I can't expect them to be this yes, you amazing thing. No, you can. Sure, you can. <laughs> Take it from someone who was a child actor. You can. I will critique your child work. Yes, vitamently. One hundred percent. It was shite. If for the same reason that if someone took a child and put them on a piano at four years old and said, "My kid's a prodigy," and they didn't know how to play the piano, I would criticize. Well, one hundred percent. I don't think anybody's calling it a prodigy though. That's a, not at all. That's I'm just it, saying. That's what I'm saying. I think she I'm, did good. I'm not going to critique her that much though because well, she's I, a child I, actor. I, I, well, that is that in and of itself is a critique, actually. By you, you have an opinion of how she did. I thought she did good. Yeah, that's a critique. 
It's not an elaborate critique, but that's okay. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> Simra, who adults I will critique, um, I thought did a, a very good job. I thought she showed a lot of emotion and a lot of vulnerability yes. uh, in, in her role. Uh, I, I liked their beginning love story that they, they had there, even though it was very short and minute. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I would have even liked that to have been... Uh, more more in depth there uh and nandita as well obviously she had uh, they, it, indian films do this a lot where they introduce characters in the beginning then they go to a completely different character set yes the, and then the, obviously they'll they'll come back in the end it yeah. happens quite a bit it especially does. in older indian films i yeah. feel like yeah uh, but obviously you saw the change in her mm -hmm. what she went through i'm guessing obviously in the second um uh, through obviously what happened in the beginning yeah. to where she got at the end uh, what do you think about the women there? Oh, I agree. I th I think all of them did a very good job. Where I, I would not think of anyone else in the roles that I would want to have cast in the roles. I yeah. felt like all the relationships were believable, and I really felt that the cast did the best that they could with the material that mm -hmm. they were given. I I had no problems yeah, yeah, yeah. at all. There wasn't anything in it that was particularly deeply moving where i would say you got to watch this because there's some there's a perform in the set you know but <laughs> that doesn't happen with a lot of films and doesn't yeah. have to happen with a lot of films what matters is that you have a cast that's going to do a, a good job and you're going to believe them and i i yeah, did yeah, yeah. i did uh and i also thought the music uh, by I, our nonbar as is, always uh non shockingly yeah. brilliant yeah uh, <laughs> non shockingly I think great we had music i've seen the the one where th uh, the mom and the little girl were on the beach I think we had reacted to that one a while ago. Did we? I think so. It would have been a long time ago then, a, huh? Yeah, I think a long time ago. Okay. Uh, but it was, I because I, I vaguely remember, and I don't think we even had subs for it. Of, well, that wouldn't surprise Of me. that song. Yeah. Um, song reaction. Maybe it got blocked. That's possible. Who knows? Anyways. Anyway, but who? yeah, I, I really enjoyed the song. I did too. And the overall score And the score overall score. No, once again, not shocking because it's A.R. Rahman. He's yeah. just, I, he can't, I, I don't think he can do bad work. He's one of the the artists that I just, I'd be shocked if like, no, he like, no, I didn't like that. He's, here's an analogy that I really mean. He's as consistent an artist that he's like the ocean. Every time I go to the beach, I know what to expect when I go to the beach. Mm -hmm. And it's different each time, yeah. but I'm never disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's always going to produce something that I'm expecting that's going to make me happy. Um, and I, another one thing I want to shout out before we get into the story, because obviously that'll probably be where we'll have the most of the conversation here. Yeah, is, uh, for sure. The, for the sure. cinematography. Cinematography. I, I thought was gorgeous, I especially loved, for when it, when it came yeah, out. Yeah, I loved some of the things they did, especially there were some storytelling aspects where they were in the book and then the book came out. So it was the animated book page and then it came out while she was telling the story. Yeah. I thought the... The the music segments were done really well. I saw very little, if any. I, I couldn't find... The place where you might find something that's a little questionable would be in some of the action sequences. Yeah, I, I've, yeah I've, like the VFX of the bombs. Yeah, or, right, yeah, which yeah, yeah. that was totally yeah, forgivable. Yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. forgivable. But uh, uh, like I said at the outset, when it comes to the technical aspects of this... Yeah. I enjoyed every part of it when it comes to the technicalities. My only thing, which we'll get into, is the problems mm -hmm. I had with story that really disconnected me from the enjoyment What was, your main, what was your main problem with the story? The, uh, the main problem I had with the story was why hmm. we would take a little girl to a war our nine-year-old adopted child into a frickin' war zone hmm. to find a mom that didn't want her leaving behind our two biological children with the grandparents. That in and of itself didn't bother me. But that we would risk mm. our lives mm. for something that is simply the nine-year-old's desire to know her birth mom. Mm. I didn't see a justification for that sense of risk-taking to endanger the life of that child and endanger the lives of the two parents of the kids who were back in India. Therefore, every decision they were making at that point, including the lack of supervision of the nine-year-old who's already proven she's going to run away in a war zone, just letting her walk amongst the bushes unattended so that gorillas can pop up and get her. Mm. That was the biggest among several things for me that I could not comprehend 
what the rationale was behind doing that. Or again, similar thing, they're going to leave because it's so dangerous. And Indra, Indira says, let's go back to the city one more time. And the guy with them says, "There's the soldiers are gone. It's way too dangerous. We, you almost died when you were back there. Please, okay. I just, that was the big one, as was the happenstance. It just so happens that in this city that's torn apart from this war where the soldiers left and it's that dangerous, who happens to be the only other person in the city that they see? The biological mom and the brother that they see at the same time. It 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 just Are you talk about at the end. Yeah. No, they were following the the biological mom and the brother were following them. They they when they left their. Oh, house, I didn't see that. Thank no, you. That helps me. When when they left their house, uh -huh. that tuk tuk or whatever it was right. was actually at the house, and they followed. Okay, that helps. <laughs> yeah, that helps. But it still yeah, yeah, yeah. doesn't for me justify why on earth. What was what the was bringing the them bringing them into the war zone? Into a war zone? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, yeah, the, the, that, that. I couldn't root for them because it, it was, it was just <laughs> so dangerously dumb. That, that part, I even though it, while I was watching, I was like, yeah, would I, would I do this? No, no. I Should wouldn't. anyone do that? No, would I do no. this? No. But it, and it, 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 I guess it came up to of Indian emotion and wanting uh, like. I don't want to say overly dramatic, but like they're very passionate and like they they do stuff for, for the love of their child, love of each other. I I chalked it up to that. Like I said, would I do that? No, obviously I wouldn't risk my family and do that. And I don't think. But I, that mean, was, I don't think anybody should do but, that. Oh, granted, uh, should they? Probably not. Yeah. Did they? That was the story that he told. And so yeah, I, I understand. I, I get it. I understand. Yeah, it was your, hard for me to root. For I them. understand your critique. <laughs> But also, I was just, I, it was, I was like, this is what the movie is trying to tell me, and that's kind of basically how it took it. And the, also, the, the walking around, even though, once again, would I parent differently and, and be more present near my child? Obviously, we're in a different country, and this was obviously a different time in the country. Because this wasn't even, even though it was made 20 years ago, I think this story, because it was, or maybe it was present, because obviously, we've only heard a little bit about this um, conflict between mm. Sri Lanka and Tamil. Right. We've seen a few videos about it and how long it went on. It was a lot of mostly guerrilla warfare between the countries, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and it's only more recently that it's right. I right. Think more. Ten, I, well, there's still tensions. Yeah. yeah, still tensions. But no. like, I think it was more like ten years ago ish that it kind of ended. Yeah, I don't know the exact something. time frame for I've, sure. I only vaguely f remember a few videos that we've seen something about me this too so, i remember us seeing a documentary yeah something a, sh a small short like a short a 10 minutes yeah for something example like that um and so that i'm glad we saw those because or else i was like I, what is this conflict? right i have no idea what this conflict is right obviously for indians or tamils who are much more familiar they're probably going to feel a lot more passionate about it and that kind of stuff um and i don't know that the the mom specifically that they knew they didn't want her obviously um and i don't even think the mom didn't want her i think she i think the mom always wanted a child the the dad said he didn't want a child and i think that led into it and then also going into a war zone she, um that mom knew that that wasn't a good place for a child <laughs> well and she um, says to her so, brother at one point she says i I don't have one child. I have 300 children now because right. Yeah, right. Which made it even more hard for me to comprehend. Granted, it seemed emotionally manipulative to have a culminating story be with her holding out her arms and her having to make the decision between my biological daughter or my brother representative of the family I wanted to have versus the 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 family I have with the fight that we're fighting, mm. there was nothing about that that felt justifiably truthful for me to care. It, it seemed very just we're going to get to this place and do something that is going to tap into emotion, which for me is not the higher priority in storytelling. Mm. Truth is, so that's another reason I, I yeah, disconnect. That, that part didn't bother me, um, and even though obviously there's some parts that I do agree. I, I don't know that I'd call it emotionally manipulative, even though it, it might be. I'd call mm. it Indian mm. in terms of that's, that's how well, they did stuff for a long time. I know, time. but that's for Shah me. Shah Khan movies are fucking full of it. I know, and that, <laughs> that, and I'm, this is, here's a, here's a, it, I had the same feeling with that that I did when we were watching uh, 80, uh, 83? 83. No, you loved 83. 
Uh, no, no, sorry. No, no. I'm thinking of. You're 96. thinking of 96. 96. No, okay. 83, the Run Veer film. I got you. When things were being done that were clearly just to provoke an emotion from the audience. And Do granted, you... yes, that does happen a lot in Indian cinema, but frequency for me doesn't justify uh -huh. it in. It just didn't a, work for you this time. In a mechanism because, of like, storytelling. In Veer Zara, a film that you loved, yes. it happened a lot. Because it's rooted in truth. Mm. It's not rooted in manipulation. I, I didn't I didn't feel this one was rooted in manipulation. I thought it was... It's the same thing I behind... almost felt this one was more authentic than, uh, like, let's say, any Shah Rukh Khan movie that has a little more camp to it a lot of times than than others. Not saying oh, yours yeah. are specifically, yeah. but obviously Shah Rukh Khan, he tends to have a lot more camp and that kind of stuff in his film. Sure. And, and I'm not just, not just saying Shah Rukh Khan movies do that. <laughs> it's, an, it's an Indian thing, especially an older Indian thing that happened a lot, but it just, uh, I understand I what, think what you're saying. I, don't, I, I just didn't bother me. And I think there could have been a way to do something that maybe many people take away from the film or was trying to convey, mm. which would be this. Because... There was another point that felt not heavy-handed, but a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, there was a point where it became an anti-war film in the discussion that was being had about we should throw all our weapons into the ocean. And I think it would have worked on a much larger and more profound scale had we felt at least I say we if I had felt a more a deeper rationale behind the reason to go in and connect with the mom other than just the nine-year-old wanted it and and really feeling this sense of the only reason this girl can't find her adopted mom who probably wants to be with her too is because of war and wouldn't it be wonderful if we didn't have these wars because all they do is tear families apart but that never even came remotely close to materializing for me if it was intended. Mm. And I would have loved to have seen that because it would have helped me if there had been a justifiable rational reason other than just irresponsible risk taking, I could have rooted for them to be there and might have been more involved in the emotional aspect at the end and maybe felt less manipulated by that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that whole, obviously, I, I chalked them even, like I said, would I have done it? Absolutely not. I wouldn't have risked my children's life. I get that. Uh, we, we are obviously coming from a, a different culture and obviously a different people. They might have, uh, I, don't, I don't know what the situation is, obviously. Maybe they not didn't know what this exact situation was. Obviously, when they got there, they did, and they kept going. Yeah, and they doubled uh, down on it. They, they just they kept, kept going. going. Yeah. But maybe they were like, we're already here. I don't know. <laughs> um, we're but, already here. Our yeah. kid almost died from a suicide bomber, but let's keep going. Um, but, yeah, I, 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 I'm more chalked it up to just the... You might have called it manipulation. I just called it. I, I was. It didn't feel out of place in an Indian film to me. Uh, that part of it, um, and so it, it, it kind of worked for me. Uh, if this was an American film, obviously that probably wouldn't have worked. I mean, it'd be a completely different film if it was an American right. film, obviously, because you know we have different. I, sensibilities. I would have, have been far more forgiving. Styles. Yeah, I would have been far more forgiving of that emotional ending and chalked it up to Indian cinema's propensity toward that emotional connectivity. Yeah. If and I think the, they, the end had been just justified by the means. The yeah. means for me at that point, I, it, I was so frustrated by gotcha. what they had done that um, the emotion didn't matter to me. And I, obviously, I think they really wanted because they see that she really wanted to meet her biological mother you could have a whole different conversation about this is probably not how you should tell an adopted child that they're right, adopted but that's like saying the first thing he says you're not our daughter <laughs> <laughs> why would you say and, that well my thought was immediately that had to have been lost in translation it couldn't have been that crass and hard to her in that <laughs> moment obviously he loved his daughter I yes think, I, I think he did he, like, I, he, I, I gave a pass on translation <laughs> for that I was like don't do, and obviously I can't it's, it's hard to tell people We've never had an adopted child. Uh, I, how yeah. to tell to do how it? How and when you tell your kid? Um, and so that's that's a complex individual issue. family complex thing issue. I get it. Um, Is there ever a right time? I, uh, I would argue that they should probably always know. Me uh, too. My preference would be they know from as early as age as possible. However, that also comes into play with they then have to understand the difference between biological parenting and adoptive to, parenting. I don't think they need to understand it immediately. 
I think they just know. Yeah, I don't you were, know. You were adopted. We I, fell in love with you. And but, uh, yeah, that part. It's of a it, different conversation that we don't need to have. Yeah, right that now. part of it, I have no um, judgment on at all. But obviously, that obviously they see she was running away. She was doing all the stuff. Sure. She really wanted to. Uh, she was obviously torn up about the entire thing, as a nine-year-old would be. Um, and so I think that uh, they really wanted that for her. And I, I think the. Maybe the the dad was a romantic because he's a writer. Who knows? Uh, but the mom was also just she obviously loved her, and she was her actual mother, and she took care of her, and she mm -hmm. saw her as her daughter. But since she saw her daughter really wanted to meet her biological mother, they would do anything for her. Yeah, to get that I, for sure. That that's, that, that, the, that's, that's, that's the, the justification that I gave to it all. I understand. Was it that, extreme? Yes. That the least they would feel they could do for her, having in their hearts felt like they disappointed her and her heart has been broken. Yes. If she's now saying, I want to meet my biological mother, that they mm -hmm. would they would go to do. You just don't think they should have done it in a war zone. A hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand, but also I, it didn't bother me. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed the movie. I was thoroughly invested in the movie. So was my wife uh, while watching, even though <laughs> she repeatedly said, if my daughter ever said that to me. <laughs> Yeah, if my daughter a, didn't let me hold her. I swear. <laughs> there, there were a couple of points there where she was edging on the side of brattiness, where I, I was, I was like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> Take her home. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoyed the film. I was, I was invested in the film, and so, but I understand. I, I get it. It's, uh, it, I like I said, well, wouldn't do it myself. Mm. <laughs> So I understand. This is not one where I don't understand your your viewpoints. Sure. There are others. Oh, of course. There are there others. Are. There are. Uh, you and fucking I as idiot. well, I, I can understand, um, while I don't agree with it, and I probably never would, in the same reason there's people, I always use this extreme who, example. Who like Honda Honda Honda. Yeah, no, who who like boyhood. Or oh, the disagreement. No, I know. <laughs> or the disagreements, for example, we had the year, which was a really fun Oscars, because uh, of uh, many reasons, but the year of Moonlight and, and La La Land. Mm -hmm. And the differences of opinions we had about that. Mm -hmm. I can't, you can't deny the fact that Moonlight is a fantastic film. It's a fantastic film. It's a great film. Uh, and you're just never the twain shall meet. So. Yes. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film. What should we are? Well, our next Money Broughton film is yeah. going to be PS2. And Madhavan. And Madhavan. Yeah. Uh, and is that, us, a, I don't know. Don't ask me. Madhavan. I think it's, help us. I think it's Madhavan. But to I could, respectfully but I don't say his name. Well, if my wife sure. were here, she would tell us. Maybe she would know. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about the film and what should be the next Tamil film that we watch down below.